Hello everyone and welcome back to Battletech. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. We are doing uh, a very very hard campaign and I think we exhausted our contracts here. No, yes, we exhausted every other contract we have to travel. Also we have the priority mission, but I don't want to do that uh, for now because I want my pilots to be more experienced and I also want that our main guy is recover get some experience and I want uh, him to participate every priority mission uh, basically because uh, that fits the story and also he's got a plot armor so he cannot really die everybody else if the mech is taken out they dead so, before we travel, we need to fix our max. Five days. Whoa, okay. Now let's check our contracts. These are against pirates, so we don't do that. And these are also against pirate, pirates. I, st I don't want to do that either. Because we want a good reputation with the pirates. And boat mission is on LOA, so we have to travel somewhere else. We are on Detroit. Well, we can still travel here and maybe we will find other missions. Okay, that's crazy. It's 19 days here and 22 days there. But we haven't uh, been to LOA, so let's travel there. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. At least we have enough uh, time to fix all the max. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Well, we can still check during jump if we have good contracts in the next planet. Let's do that. Oh, we are arrived. Okay, so... Okay. I was thought we are doing two jumps. Okay, let's see what kind of contracts we can have here besides those two terrible contracts. E personal against pirates and here also against pirates. That's not fun. Well, I think it is the we had to do the priority mission. But I think this is just uh, a dialogue, yes. So let's travel and burn up some more Auto money. Yeah, we kind of uh, have to go and break from these four planets. I've got the financial report. Yeah, we are just burning money right now. That's the problem that uh, our only enemy seems to be now just pirates. 
of course we can uh, run into other contracts if we starting to travel around uh, of these four planets but the thing is uh, each travel is very very costly because uh, time is flying and and we have to pay uh, the upkeep Let's proceed. Mr. Oliveria, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I am uh, Anna Maria Centrella. You have heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopy Royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the mercenary re review board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, uh, Commander Boyer? My interest? Sure, but I need to hear details before I'm willing to commit to anything. Of course, Commander Boyer, I expect nothing less. The job that I have for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you have been looking for. Fair deal, wouldn't you say? How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. The decentralized image is replaced on the screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackled structures cling to it like uh, granacles. She is a derelict vessel, an Argo. One of only two ever made. For over 200 years she's been lying in state on Exilus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her and you are going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as as, as, as the enthusiast, sorry guys. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'd be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Vitranen. I have, uh, I have engineer staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. We will find the Jopshin waiting for you at Alloway. It will carry you to the uh, pirate moon where you clear the path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go work on the derelict and you will protect them until the work is done. This should be well within your cap capabilities, Commander Boyer, unless I come to the wrong company, of course. You came to the right company, Lady Centrala, during my tour in the Ogre military at Tangle with more pirates that I can count. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough and there will be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Oliveira will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering. Commander Boyer, I can promise you that. Okay, that was weird. She isn't wrong, Ian. We hear, we were looking for a lifeline and this is uh, as it close as we can gonna get. Okay, Lady Centra, you got yourself some mercenaries. Very good, I'm fo I am forward your contract to Mr. Oliveria. We heard stories of your exploits on the battlefield, Commander Boyer. Your reputation as a soldier is well known within the Magistracy. Let's hope that you live up to it. Okay. We got that contract, but we can do a few jobs here. No. And this is also against pirates. Well, it turned out we are going against... <laughs> we are doing the first priority mission. Calculating course now, Commander. And that is exactly what I want to avoid. But we are burning the money we earned.
Banging noises draw your to the shared Macquarie barracks where you find glitch disassembling one of the leopards in the internal wars. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside her. She pauses, uh, then explains. There is a few cubic meters of dead space back there. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the banks. As reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modify their property. Okay, let's set aside some money for the fine. You look glitch in the eye. You know how the chain of command works. You have to clear changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? You look over glitch work. It's cl uh, cleanly done with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the cost of the fights to the benefit for the Mac Warriors and uh, decide it's worth it. Okay, at least we increased morale. I don't know if I had to do the contract right now or if we see some other contracts in the system we can do that first. I would love to do that first. At least the priority mission will uh, pay us a big heap of money. Yeah, we have to proceed. Okay, then let's proceed. Commander, I'm setting a course for Lady Central's jump ship. It's strange though. This moon is uh, taking to us. Axelos doesn't appear on any of my maps. Which leads me to wonder where exactly are we going and how do they intend to get us there? That was one of a hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards use a pirate point to get us here. If we had suffered a misjump, a sore stomach would be the least of your concerns. The little part could have uh, gotten irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary hobbits they show us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. I'm sure they were, but we are fine. Save your concerns for the job ahead. You heard the commander. Stow the complaints and pay attention. We have a job to discuss. A grainy map of the Bora Moon fills your view screen. A section of the image has been highlighted in white. The Argos crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold and everything around it belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sibyl. Her gang is the closest thing that Axelos has to a ruling council. Grim Sibir, is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you would choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patch, uh, patchy at best. I don't think that Axelos gets a lot of visitors. They have strong anti-air cover but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles but battle max activity looks like. Define light battle mech activity. What are we talking about exactly? I can't put an exact number on it. All I have are surface scans to go on. From the data I do have, I would expect the pilots to be able to feel the full length of light battle mechs, all of them in full repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger that uh, will be Grim Sibyl's mech. I don't have any information on tonnage or armament. But given the shape uh, that everything else is on Axelos, I imagine it's being held together with chewing gum and bowling wire. But the pirates have vehicles and turrets, maybe a few battle mechs, got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by uh, radar guided anti aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar towers so that Samurai can approach the derelict. After you secure the crash site, she will dock the, uh, the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they miraculously get a uh, 200 years old wreck flying again. The Decentral has bet a massive stack of CBS that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that their chief engineer can pull this off. I'd he never heard of Dr. Faramurad before, Lady Central mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. 
She was telling that through that Rock has quite a reputation, supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wonder kid, and the genius at bringing dead ships back to life. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm glad to hear it because it's gonna have to be. Now that we are here, we're kind of committed to see this job through. I'll leave you to it, I am good hunting on the moon's surface. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Okay, Medusa, you're moving back. Which you go back to your Vindicator and we are rocking the Blackjack. Command interface initiated. Welcome to Axios Commander. It's ever bit as charming as you expected a pilot occupied moon to be. We were flying Grimsby's radar station just ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles for the time being at least. We know that Grimsby has at least one lance of battle max so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate turrets as you make your way into the base. They pack a nasty punch and they can also sensor lock you or max. Aim for the turret generator that will be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. After the pirate radar stations are down you will be clear uh, to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting commander, knock on their radar uh, cover, knock out their radar cover, crush any pirate resistance and secure us that derelict. Oh, we can. Oh! Nice. Okay. So we will have to hack that turret generator and destroy it quickly. And we have a turret right there. Well. I'm thinking how to do that. I think if we are moving up here, we will have a direct shot at the turret generator. Heading out. Enemy detected. We really have to be careful. Good to go. Okay, Decker cannot. Maybe we should uh, uh, destroy this turret. But not this time around. I think because only Decker would be the only one who can. No, we can also shoot at him. But I want to be get a little bit closer. I hear ya. Receiving you. And Behemoth also have an AC5. Jumping. Standing by. Okay, let's see if we jump up here. From that position, we can shoot at the generator. And if I... Okay, so I can click and... Oh, because I have no line of sight. Well... Probably only the AC can reach. Well, what's up, boss? Let's check what kind of tower this is. No one else singing this. Wake up, you idiots! We've got company. But they're driving giant battle mechs. We can't fight against. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight! Okay. So 
I think we can live with uh, uh, that amount of damage. What can I do for you? The thing is, can we? Can everybody jump to a spot? Okay, there are several spots here. Ready for orders. Ah, Behemoth cannot uh, jump. So she needs to move. Location confirmed. And we will do that. Waiting for orders. We will jump up in the next turn. Standing by. And starting with Behemoth. Affirmative. Because she's had the smallest range. Firing on target. Okay, it seems the AC hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. Affirmative. Glitch. Let's reserve the alarm. The PPC should be enough. Uh huh. Nice. Brought it down, Commander. Receiving you. Roger that. You can work on the first radar tower. Taking the shot. can jump there and maybe no let's let's just jump up here and uh, we cannot shoot with the laser so we are bracing there and i let the vehicles come to us or at least a little bit closer Oh, you have 8% fire at large minute. No, no, okay, so. Target confirmed. Decker, I think we have to increase your ballistic skill. I think we can afford to reserve a little bit more. Well, it turned out to be good. Good to go. Okay, glitch. Hopefully, the PPC can see. Ready? Damn it! It wasn't enough. Okay, but it doesn't uh, attack. Save the shots from the AC. Target confirmed. Waiting for orders. Locked on. Okay. Engaging target. 
Okay, it was enough. Great. Enemy unit destroyed. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Okay, it's worth the ammo. Vehicle down. I hear ya. And glitch is just too down. Ready for orders. Target acquired. Okay, the radar tail, one of the towers is down. Right, real estate available. What can I do for you? Special delivery! Oh, we have... Oh, okay, I think we can afford one shot. Engaging target. Orders. Just sprint and I take a moment to cool down. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Target acquired. That's done it, Commander. The AA guns are down for now. Get to the quest site and secure the area. And I think now we reached. Uh, I think the, the best music the game has to offer, and it's a shame. This is the only place you can hear it in the you game. Betcha. Location confirmed. And when I first played this game, this was the moment I aye, really, aye. really got into it. Don't need to tell me twice. Coordinates received. Roger. I copy. The crash site is secure, Samurai. You got a clear approach path to the deadly. Two steps ahead of you, Axel. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. The package is very bad, so I'm taking the leopard safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Mayor. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Oliveria. We are making our way inside now. Alright, people, you know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Murad. Reserving action.
Okay, the locust Commander. showed itself. Affirmative. And we have a commando there. And two vehicles. And I won't be talking much, because I just love to listen to the music. Engaging target. Good to go! Let's go for one of the torsos. Maybe we can detonate the SRM ammo. Or just destroy it. That's a kill. Roger that. Taking the shot. Reporting critical hit. House. Enemy unit destroyed. Dr. Moran, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. And the good music is gone. 
Though the great music is gone, we still have very good music. Music. Giving him everything I've got. Almost. Ready for orders. Oh, step on him. Position confirmed. My way into it. One for the scrap. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Orders? Firing jump jet. Okay, where is Wim Sibyl? Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. There she is. You think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from Wim Sibyl. I'm gonna crave you you like a roasted pig. That's a Big Mac. Yeah, but it's in terrible condi condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. Yeah, and I remember every time I play, I try to save most of uh, that mech, but we need eight mech parts to complete uh, a mech, so I don't think it's worth the risk. Ready for orders. Oh, so let's sensor lock Locked on. the quick draw. Where's the cannon? Uh. Waiting for orders. On my way. Let's try and neutralize the shadow wolf. So only, we have to deal only with the, with the quick draw, but I don't think we can. Oh, it's much better if we are not aiming. Enemy mech destroyed. I guess use the force, Luke. Okay, now. What's up, boss? Now we are sensor locking her. I've got a sensor lock. Waiting on you, Commander. And we we'll just fire some LRMs. Waiting for orders. I want to remove some armor from her before we commit to a fight. Okay, now we have to commit. I'm taking a pounding, Commander! Warning, armor low. Got 
Got it. Whoa. Okay, you can hit when it counts. I appreciate that. Okay, we are getting Waiting there. Got it. Affirmative. Oh, we have a head hit. Hmm. Still having three parts of a quick draw would be yes commander very very beneficial so let's go for the side i think if we damage two more times that should be enough Firing all pilot injured and now we should Scored take out the long. leg Yeah, she's afraid of the PPC, and I totally understand that. Minor damage, Commander. Standing by. Okay, if you jump. There, you can still shoot at her. And go for the legs. Confirmed. Okay, one leg hit. Good to go. Affirmative. Okay, I don't want to risk the PPC. Well, you know what? We should go for the other side. Okay, that hurt. Warning. Armor low. Yes, Commander. Got it. But now we can shoot at this side. Here it comes. Pilot injured and a critical hit. not taken out. Okay, that's a problem. Then we need to take down the leg. But I don't... Oh. Aye, aye. That was dumb! I was thinking too much. At least we still have uh, full armor Order. on... On the blackjack. Move order received. Well... Let's hope for a miracle, which didn't come. Get your lance to the Argo Commander, I'm just about done. Got it. Oh, damn it. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. Hunkering down. 
it's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have trust control. Go now, celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is gonna going to fly. Mission successful. Well, of course, we are taking the quick draw. SRM-6s are nice. And we are taking the Shadow Hawk, of course. And we got the Jenner. You've done excellent work, Commander Boyer, and you earn yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you again, Talidian, or should I say, Commander? You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you seeing uh, us here at LOA, seeing us at all. I apologize for that. But I had to show that you were the Mac warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now, with the Argo on its way to Liarton for repairs, I know you are everything I remembered and more. I can't believe you standing there here. The entire reach is convinced that you are dead. She was dead. Lord Madeira too. I'm sorry Lady Arno, but the news feed ran footage of your dropship getting blow out on the sky, on the loop, for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were directorate propaganda, well-crafted lies to keep the mess messes in line. And with that camera, I leave you to your re re reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations and keep me uh, apprised of whatever decision uh, you come to. With the central space, wings of the view screen, the dull blue glow of the holo projection slowly dies away. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda, Teldian. My uncle's directorate is run on lies. Though in this case they were nearly become true. The, di the directorate assassin pursued us uh, into the frontier. In the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, we gave up, uh, eventually they gave up looking for us and we've been living in exile ever since. I know what that's like, I've been there myself. Uh, where have the two of you have been hiding? As far from directory space as we could get without leaving the frontier. A miserable uh, ball of rock called Zatars. It was a nasty British, uh, British planet for full of international strife and bloody tumor. There were power struggles and mad nobles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. 
So you're saying it was a typical frontier world? More or less. Living on Chromodier, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough, how rough life outside of the Aurigian coalition could get. My uncles could change everything, Talidion, including me. You had Central send us after the Argo. I would like to know why. In part as a test of your abilities to make sure that your performance on Cormodir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coop has taught us to be careful, Commander Boyar. We couldn't just reach out to you on fate. But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship, Teldian. She is a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and then return to better days. You will see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel uh, once, a true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murat's care, she will be again. Okay, you made it off from Chromodin and you found me. Let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. We have resources. An army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps, perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrala and the uh, tactic support of her government. That means money. A great deal of money. My family hails from the magistracy. I know that my people didn't hold the Oregon coalition in especially high regard. So why are they helping you? Because we are useful. The magistracy sees Kamea's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the directory dealt with, but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They would prefer to keep their own hands clean. The Rimward Periphery is a power cactalidian. Tensions between the Taurian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. If open conflict between superpowers were erupt, it would be difficult for anyone to retain neutral. The Magistracy wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. And your house central has best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the directorate from the board, and the magistrates let tensions between the Federated Sons and the Taurians simmer down to their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Diarano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliveira. But understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking the directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The founding council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning and with your help I will bring them one. Join with me Talidian and we will not fail. Your call is honorable Lady Arano. If the price is right I think we can do business together. The price, of course, Talidian. Let us discuss your compensation. Pledge yourself to me and I will buy your company's debts, all of them. You will be free to travel and see clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on that day I reclaim and on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligations to me will be forgiven, your debt will be wiped clean. Of course you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, and the at a rate that will feel quite generous given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrala, we have money to burn. I don't like the thought of being some noble spawn, but I don't like being in a hook of a bunch of loan sharks either. This sounds like a pretty good deal, boss. I'm just saying. Deal, let's make Mastiff Montgomery proud. He would be. In truth, I feel that he's smiling down on us even now. I take my leave of you now, I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again. And when I do, I, I need your... I need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Talidian, or war is about to begin. Okay, now we can move around. Oh! We got a centurion from this. And let's see if it has equipment on it. Uh, I didn't want to go here, but Order. since we are here... It's good to go. Yeah, a little bit of more gunnery for you. 
Training confirmed, Commander. I hear ya. Lich, you need guts. Mech warrior training complete. Orders. I'll be waiting for the guts. Okay, so let's check our new toy. Has only a laser. Okay. What's the? It has an AC ten. Okay, sold. If we could have an AC ten, but we, but we don't. But he's got three missile points. And now I'm very happy that we have that SRM-6. And put two SRM-2s there. Oh. Let's max out the armor and peel back a little. Okay. Can put a SRAM ammo. We can put another. The question here: Should we put an uh, an AC on him? The AC five stonage is eight. So he can have an AC5. And we have some ammunition for it. And we can put on a heat sink. That means he cannot jump. Or remove the AC5. Yeah, I, I think we remove the AC5s and the SRM2s. And I want more uh, SRMs on him. So this time around we just do this. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. We have to repair the spider and need to do that first and I think there will be no contract here oh we do have a contract here a pretty hard one but the reputation is good And I think we can even afford Well Let's do it like this We're going for salvage and for reputation Oh, we can add 10 What's our correct score? Minus 10. No, but I want... I want to do it like this. Because maybe we can get our hands on another SRM-6. And we are using the Locust. This is the place, time to start the party commander. Our target should be somewhere in this vicinity. Let's hit them hard and get them uh, looking in our direction. Oh, and remember, they will like to be reinforcements, commander. Okay.
this looks good. So let's move towards that place. Position confirmed. Coordinates received. Roger that. We've got an unknown on sensors. Orders. Let's move there. Coordinates received. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Oh, like great. We are getting into a trap here. What's that? I've got a sensor. A javelin. Lock. The alarms. Of course. Of course. At least mostly light max. But I think we are facing two full lances. Okay, let's start. Oh, that means we hit the mag behind it. Oh, two medium max. Damn it. Good to go. You can't have line of sight on it. No, seems not. Only LRMs. Order. About Behemoth. Okay, she can shoot the AC, but... How about just sprinting? I think we have to use the terrain. This will cover us from these max. Well, for a while at least. I leap, I soar. Forty percent is not worth the heat. Exp the heat. Basically, yes, Commander. Okay, you have to move somewhere where you are useful with your sensor lock. Locked on. It's a low cost. Of course, with LRMs. Yeah, I guess the idea here was that we are charging to those guys, and these guys uh, give us some LRM hell. They've got a lock on me. Oh no. But these guys doesn't have LRMs. Just large lasers. Nice. Okay, Behemoth, you have to move forward.
Griffin. Another javelin with LRMs. Are you kidding me? Taking the shot. will be withdrawing. Okay. Enemy mech destroyed. That's a good sign, but it's not enough. It's nearly not enough. And the Wolverine. Fully armored. They're getting the angle on We lost the mech. Damn it! And Decker was our only scout. What a disaster. I only hope our failure doesn't get our friends caught. Retreat. Wow, okay. I should have do that sooner. Oh, at least we received some salvage. That's nice. And we maybe lost the mech as well. Well, we will be burning through mech warriors quickly, I think. Let's check the store. Or oh, we could have just uh, checked the store. New weapon systems available. And uh, where are we? Oh, we are back on LOA. I see. Against planetary government, that's fine. We will go. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's that's a no go. We have we have to upgrade our Mac warriors. Okay, it seems Ash is the closest thing we need as a scout. Warriors available. And I don't sure if we accept this contract. Traveling to Detroit. Assassinate with one skull. Twenty-two days. Yeah, we need the spider. Uh, no, let's let's do the work on the Centurion. Okay, let's let's try the assassinate contract. A yeah, little salvage, little money. Let's go. Organized chaos. In the morning briefing, Yang jumps right in. Commander, the leopard is too small. 
My mechtechs keep tripping over everything. Chief, we talked about this, Darius says in an exploration. We can't exactly knock down any walls. Samara insert herself. What if we move some supplies into other parts of the uh, on the leopard? The bunks, the kitchen, hell, I even uh, store some boxes in the cockpit if uh, it will help. Yang rubs his chin. Yeah, if I had some breathing room for a week, I could reorganize and make room for everything to move back. Okay, let's move some supplies. Let's not hit morale. Over the next several days, everyone helps move the least critical mag base supplies to other parts of the Leopard. But emotions uh, get heated over the next week. Behemoth gets practically upset when she trips over an expensive box of tools. Before long, uh, and before long, Yang and his technicians reclaim their supplies. His mood, at least, is much better than everyone else's. When you arrive in the mag bay, he is grimly satisfied with the amount of reorganization he managed in the short period of time. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Okay, that means we finished the Centurion and we can install that SRM-4 as well. Let's hop the timeline. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay. What contracts? Uh, Magbay. Yep. We can put an SRM four. For two days, uh, oh, oh, let's check uh, how many days we, we have to travel still. Nine days, okay. So I want the century already. The SRMMO is a hundred rounds, so he can continue to fire for 20 rounds. That's good. The SRM-6 is 3 tonnage. So we have to leave 4, but we can we can do 4 more. Well, now let's put 2 jump jets on and an additional heat sink. And it will be completed in six days. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. The last cup. On your way to the upper gallery, you run into Samurai heading the same way. Commander, it has been a long week. I know I can't make more hours in the day but I can make more coffee. When you enter the cram ga uh, galley, you find Behemoth and Leech in a tent standoff in front of nearly empty coffee pot. Behemoth sees you. Commander, this is the last of the coffee. The Exo says we don't have any more until the next supply run. Leech shows her way forward. I got here first and she almost stole it uh, while I was looking for my favorite mug. Okay, let's split the coffee between them.
Exasperated, you squeeze your way past them into the galley and take two cups. Pouring the coffee equally in both, you say, if you can't act like adults, we have to resolve this like your children. You had the one cup to behemoth and one to glitch. Drink up. The next time I send you planet side, I expect you to make every single shot. After they leave Samurai sides as she stares at the empty pot. Uh, that better have been worth it. Now excuse me why I got discussed shopping priorities with Darius. Okay, now everybody is in high spirits, so it's worth it. I don't know, however, what happens when we offer that cup to Samurai. Okay, that means we have a medium lance. Yes, proceed with the contract. And I think we will uh, using Ash. So we can give her or increase her tactics. I don't know, Gunner is 3. Let's use her when we are on... Well... Well, well, well. So they are in good spirits. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's uh, see the new recruit. In action. Command interface initiated. Commander, you're in the AO and we are expecting hostile contact. Recon has provided the general vicinity of the diplomat. Are you nuts? He's traveling a hunchback. Take the target out and get to the evac zone. Olivier out. And have reinforcements and escorts. Damn it. It seems we arrived to another tough fight. Roger that. You betcha! On the move. If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. I think this is the best, best place to, to be. Okay, we have an enemy contact, but we don't know what it received. is. Moving to position. It's a mech. I, I, I hoping for a, a few vehicles here and there. That would be nice. Or half lances. Or locusts. Well, you are really aggressive. Showing minor damage. Waiting for orders. Okay, just Remove some evasion first. Well, let's use the LRM instead of the laser. I was hoping that for at least one hit. I hope that's the hunchback and all of the mechs are light mechs. Okay, Ash. Affirmative. Use just the lasers. It's not like we will hit. Off. No joy. I hear ya. Okay, now the PPC has a decent hit chance, so let's do it. Okay, glitch hit, so she wears the coffee. Want some more, huh? All committed. Okay, it was 
enough. Okay, and just just three max from the escort. Spider. Okay, I think we can uh, concentrate our fire on the spider. The same way we did it last What's time. That, or almost the same way. On my way. Nice. That was a really, really nice hit. Because of the coffee. I'm absolutely sure about that. Commander. Roger that. You know, let's put some rockets in the mix. On you, Commander. Got it. And you can precision strike as well. Now let's do it. And stay down. Okay, that's actually quite nice. This is goes better than I expected. If uh, always one uh, light mech moves up and we can shoot it down. Come on, show yourself. Fire starter. Oh, okay. He needs to die. That's also a very dangerous nice damage, smack. And with four evasion marks. Yes, Commander. Okay. Moving out. Roger that. Okay, at least one hit. I I expected at least one hit with uh, eight shots for thirty percent. One hit is reasonable. Good to go. Can we go to the side? Not this time. Got it. But we have far better chances. All weapons are go. Yes. One less flamer to worry about. It still has three. Heavy damage. Good to go. Don't need to tell me twice. Time to die. Okay, and now we can shoot at the side. And that means we might be able to knock out the leg. That's all we have to face. Another spider. I think we should put our guy Warning. Detecting Damn it. Injury. So I think we should put our, our guy into the Centurion
Finish him, Let's please. See how you like this. Okay. Our next target is the general. Okay, and this time around, you use everything. Give them everything I've got. Nice. What can I do for you? Next time around, Ash, you get the last coffee. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Okay, we reduce the firepower yeah, of the general. You know what? The central angle will be fine. Yep. Because we might be able to hit there and that will transfer to the center torso. Glitch because she can split fire. We're doing a PPC on the locust and everything else on the spider. Uh-huh. And the locust is still alive. Hopefully finishing off the spider. Solid connection on that one. But not solid enough. Commander. Good to go. Nice. Mech destroyed. Okay, we are staying back with our guy. Aye, aye. It's true that he's uh, he cannot be killed, but I don't want to lose the mech. Okay, there's the hunchback. you have to get close 
This is generally not a good idea to get close to a hunchback. And it doesn't matter if it has uh, lasers on him or an AC-20. Good to go! Taking the high road! A little bit closer. Yep. Oh! That was a damn hard hit. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, no question about that. Receiving you. Go Moving up there, the Ash, and start to tenderize. Oh, and it is fully armored. Receiving you. Firing full complement. I hear ya. I leap. I soar. Roger that. Firing on target. At least its sensors are impaired. Let's use just the ACs for now. Oh, well, we are keep ourselves in cover. Knock down. That means free aim shots for everyone. Waiting for orders. That's too close. There. Uh huh. I hope he will start running away after this. Or just kill it. That would be even better. I think he did. Yeah. Enemy mech destroyed. Commander done. Okay, okay, we know that Mission stuff. Successful. Let's take the AC-20. Well, we can buy an AC-20 sooner or later, and it will be cheaper than a part of a hunchback. And we can still get it. No, we got a spider. Which is fine. And what's the contract situation here? Nothing good.
Yeah, but I can think we can travel anywhere now. Oh, there is there is no half difficulty planet. Well, <laughs> one and a half, two, two, okay. Okay, I, I don't think we are ready for the priority mission. I don't think we can upgrade anyone. Yes, Commander. That's a long way for that sensor lock. Orders. Good to go. Standing by. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.